is up, guys? It's Kogajimente, I, 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 and... Slinger here. And today, after a day later of the update, well, actually, it's technically two days, because the day after the update, uh, we created a gang type with the help of a friend, uh, Dyslexic Pop-Tart, and since that time, we spent literally like four hours that night staying past our times to sleep to make a gang type that's actually incredibly fun to play for infection. Yeah, we've been going all nuts with the weapon systems, and we always scratch the surface of this. And with all the stuff I've been experimenting, I think we're going to be able to make more maps and game modes, actually. Definitely. By the way, people, let me know if the audio sounds horrible. I'm using my webcam right now, so I don't know if I'm loud or quiet, because my computer is actually recording behind me, and my, my webcam is right next to me, so I don't know how good it sounds. Um, so I'm not actually using my big mic, because I'm using my big mic to talk to Gunslinger. So uh, the map you're seeing here, which Gunslinger is on the other team, let me change teams real fast, um, with the new sure. update, gave various different options. And, of course, some of them of those were the weapons. Uh, so in our map, the humans actually spawn with vehicles, while the zombies spawn completely normal. Uh, well, if, besides a few tweaks and moderations of speed. So, if you guys remember the game type speed demons from Halo Reach, where the, uh, basically everybody was super fast, but it was infection. This time it's the other way around, sort of. We modified, tweaked it and made it just awesome and even implemented the new forge unisc air vehicle the wasp which actually is pretty fun to use the game type is actually very well balanced we literally spent like five hours after that just play testing and it was fun every bit of it it did not get boring it wasn't really it was repetitive but it was fun for what it is so i mean if you, game actually special now. yeah if you guys here, let me try to get set up here so I can make sure I can hear you. <laughs> Ow. You were supposed to wait to show him. <laughs> oh. They combine certain weapons together to actually make either the most super weapon or a weaker one. Mm -hmm. Which just has a combination of both the sniper rifle, but the UNSC with the back to have two long mode, but it's really powerful. Very much indeed. Ow. <laughs> mm -hmm. So real quick, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this glitch so we can say that uh, Dexlexic Pop-Tart discovered this first before anyone. He discovered it basically within the first hour of the update. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your... Uh, gameplay weapons and obviously you're going to spawn on a weapon pad this is actually very easy and only certain weapons actually work really good with certain weapons um, I'm gonna do one of my favorite ones that I actually like to do which actually happens to be the sniper basically what you do here is you actually go over here to your weapon obviously select your weapon first then go to the configuration as shown in the screen and you're gonna select the weapons rec version aka this one is the end of the line so one of my favorites the six this two is an SMG so as long as you don't touch the weapon configuration when you take the SMG if the weapon is compatible with that weapon you'll create a super weapon this is an automatic sniper. This is probably the fastest sniper there is. And there's gunslingers. Automatic rocket launcher that doesn't use ammo unless you have to use ammo to fire blades. When you talk about a dangerous death star, this was actually not the model that I made. It had a fuel rod system instead. Definitely. So yeah, this was a mod, a, or a glitch, I guess you would say, unless T43 meant this to be secretly intentional for Red vs. Blue or something. Uh, this Lex Popper discovered this within an hour of the update. Oh god. <laughs> well, as you can see here, the zombies spawn here. Now, the zombies, when they actually spawn for this infection mode, spawn with all these OP weapons while the humans get the buff vehicles, like the wasp and the mantis, of course. Uh, we have a modified version of the energy sword. Now you're probably wondering how different that is, and we'll get to showing these weapons real quick. But basically, the concept is bulk versus speed. The zombies are very fragile, the humans are very tough, 
the design, uh, but it, it actually plays out really well to what it is because, like for example here, and then you zoom in, it's completely different weapon. Now this is paired with an incineration cannon. Uh, the zombies are two times faster. They can pick up the speed boost to go even faster. We have a, a storm rifle connected to a hydra, which is just awesome. And yes, it does lack on. Holy crap, that's your weapon, isn't it? Yep. Uh, this is one that uh, I'm going to admit that Hug Cake made and was actually pretty cool for what we had set. But the ni this is a nice mortar for when they go... Uh, down into mantis mode and of course you guys are probably itching to see what the energy sword does now it doesn't shoot anything like snipers but I am surprised it didn't die it's one of the most powerful energy swords actually gunslinger I'm gonna let you show it since All right. since they can get to a third person perspective show okay let it rip hard to tell, but this has a grabbing hammer effect. So this does, like, special range type of damage. So that you get a little Yeah, see, see how I'm ba bouncing him back? Friendly. This is one fun energy sword to have a sword fight with. All of that, but even the speed rifles. It's insane. And my blade's at 100%. Still. Yeah, you can still kill them. As long as you don't interact with them in the blade, This the power charge from this will kill them. It is actually a rather nice weapon. And of course, I just love Gunslinger's Inflection. So, yeah, we haven't made a really special map for it, but we did kind of... Dude, I'm glad we did not put that into the thing, because <laughs> that is way OP. <laughs> you saw the Actually, go over there and tell me what it looks like. Alright, I'll go over there. Alright guys, you get to see what this mod can do, or not mod, hat glitch can do. First person, bombard me. Oh god. I'm not seeing anything yet. I'm scared. Oh god, here they come! Incoming! <laughs> I think they're going over. <laughs> yeah, they're going over. Dude, that is awesome. They're just exploding over. That was a show. Okay, go for the mantis. Go for the mantis. I'm behind the mantis. Oh god, here they come. Here they come. <laughs> Oh shit, they okay took out all the mantis in one hit. Saw the whole time lined up in a perfect line. Okay, well we still have the loss. I mean, I don't think yours is very anti-air, but it might be cool. Yeah, see, dude, that if I get hit by one of those ones, that's gonna be insane. Is that a Hydra connected to that? Nope. It's just the subtracting missile Oh. As you can see, that's an instant kill. So Gunslinger's got a nice OP weapon. Which, like I said, you can actually just manually move the missiles as well. Yeah, so this is actually a really, really fun game type. So I'm going to go real quick, guys, into theater mode and then show you the gameplay we literally did last night. Boom. And yes, guys, uh, with the update, we will go over Halo Wars Firefight, but not in this video. I'll do that another time, and maybe Gunslinger will come on that one. So real quick, I'm going to up uh, load the theater mode if it'll pop up. There we go. So here's our gameplay from that night. So I'm just going to load it up real quick. It's going to kick me out of the lobby right now, Gun, so... The one part I have to do solo. No problem, Well, theater mode used to be able to allow multiple people back in Halo 3, but now it's like, nope. I wanted really? Halo 3? Yeah, I remember. you could do it in Halo 3 and in Halo 2 if you had the original Xbox. Okay, so here's the game type loading up. Of course, there's no intro cinematics on this map or anything and stuff like that. And it's already showing player. Oh, I like how it still shows player joined when you start the match. So the game's about to load, and I think you're going to see my perspective. Uh, let me see who I am. What? What's going on in theater mode? 
Who am I? Give me the freaking player list. Oh my goodness, don't tell me it's not getting now on you. Right as we make videos. No, it's not letting me see what player I am. There we go. <laughs> Okay, here's me. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna show you from my perspective. I started as a human in the first round. Uh, well, for the time being, I'm actually gonna fast forward because I forget these guys didn't know what to do in the beginning. So let me fast forward. Why is he freaking out? The hell? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Computer mode is glitching out. Like, oh my god! So Walsh just started flipping out. Every time I fast forward, they flip out. Well, I just found an Easter egg within <laughs> within theater mode. <laughs> they just flip out, dude. I just if I hit the speed button, they just start flipping out. Right now, it's not doing too bad. That that was strange. Mm. I'm trying to fast forward through the rounds because trying to see get to where the action starts going because yeah these first couple of guys didn't know what they were doing oh wait no he kind of knows he, he kind of started so you kind of get an example and they got me here so obviously and you can see it's actually pretty balanced despite everything that's going on it does seem like the zombies are maybe a little OP, but it's actually rather fun. If the human plays smart, they can actually hold their own. You'll see a couple of rounds here. That of uh, well, right now you'll see him holding his round because it's, well, that was gunslinger. <laughs> he knows what to do. He was playing the game mode in this one. Round two. My rifle's in play. Up. Okay, let me move the gunslinger so you can see how the infected works. So, me and him right here are grabbing the uh, speed boost, and ready. he's just going in with the energy sword. You're, you're about to see how powerful this energy sword really is. I can't remember if you actually landed a kill in the first one, but I know you really scared the crap out of me that one time. He literally just landed on top of my vehicle and just went ham. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. It took three hits to take out my wasp. With an energy sword. <laughs> so you can see a gunslinger got one of our anti-air uh, vehicles. Which is actually rather nice. It's basically a DMR mix with a beam rifle. And for the first time, we actually know what a DMR looks like without its scope. DMR ready. Yeah. I, I don't know if they had the project projection version of it, because the projection version of it probably wouldn't have the scope. I don't know on that one. So, here's me again. I'm going to show you off the little Hydra here. I'm going to get the first person mode. And I also ramp myself up with speed boost. So this game type is actually really fun. I think I'll make this the last round. Uh, because there's not a whole lot to show you because it's pretty much repetitive but it is fun and it depends on the different people so you can see here I'm trying to lock onto him because he was idiot flying low I locked on and he's pretty much done for uh, the sad thing about it is the lock on range is very close but the once you lock on they're done for <laughs> so it's very balanced within a constant fire of Hydra so you can see here, I just spray fire, and actually, it's my favorite weapon. And do be careful with these weapons, you tend to kill yourselves uh, with these weapons. Survivors and as you can see, the round ended. I'll go ahead and show you guys one more round of whoever it is I spawn as. So the round is actually rather fast. When we were first doing it, it took like more than three minutes to play, because nobody knew what they were doing. But once you figure it out, it's very fast action, and it's... It's just raining mortar. <laughs> this player is raining mortars down on the mantis now. If they're even in the mantis, I don't even. Is it, I don't even know if this is me or not. But yeah, see that backlash going on over there, guys. He's just. L oh yeah, this is gunslinger. Okay, I'm playing as gunslinger, I believe. Yeah, I'm playing as gunslinger. I remember this part. We're in the mantis, and he's trying to shoot at us. So here's an example of the humans playing smart. Actually, we're staying back. Instead of going up, uh, while well, Gunslinger wanted to mortar us, so we're both at our distances. 
However, it's when we started pushing up, Gunslinger decided to drop on down while his teammate flanked us, and they did by chance take us out. And as you can see, I don't last very much longer because that's just me over there. And did you see that? Gunslinger just got a kill with an energy sword <laughs> and flew half across the map. I can't... Oh, there we go. So this game type is very deadly and very fun. I actually hope we're one of the first to get this out on YouTube, but I do want to mention that the Lexic Pop-Tart is the first person in the entire world to discover this Easter egg. So if anyone tries to say otherwise, no, it, it was him. We are quite proof of that. Definitely. <laughs> we were the first to make a game type with this. If somebody noticed it showed out and did it, well, good, good. hey, guess what? We made a game type first. Uh, so, uh, this video is going to show a day later for you guys. But for us, we made this like less than three days of the update, pretty much. Uh, I think. I'm not exactly sure when the update came out, but I do know that Dyslexic Pop Dart discovered this right away because he was well knowledgeable of this glitch when we noticed it. And we made this game type the very night he showed us. So, yeah. Any commentaries about this from you, Gunslinger, before we conclude this little simple video? Yep, no, nothing here. I can hear you're practicing over there. <laughs> yeah, it's experimenting again. I true, swear, true. I've made tons of things here. Well, I guess while I'm here, I guess I should mention to you guys that I'm watching, those of you who are interested in MOTI, Good news! I'm almost finished with the animation! I just have another minute to go. <laughs> That's another three weeks of progress. <laughs> if I don't procrastinate. <laughs> uh, I've been choosing to go perfection on it, guys, so please bear with me on the, uh, the, uh, taking, going slow with that and all. And we, uh, got banned starting on, uh, Zeph from here, so... Uh, we got one last episode of MOTI, and I'm gonna make everything go out with a bang. So, Gunslinger, expect some fun lines from Alisair. <laughs> it's time to bring back the original depiction of him from the prologue, if any of you remember watching that. I guess I didn't show the Mantis off in this game type, so I guess before I go, I'll show this off, because this guy's using the Mantis, but... It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Combos here, guys. Discovered. Woo. But yeah, so as soon as uh, this round ends, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, probably cut the video because I'm gonna use the mantis out, which he's about to die pretty soon. And done for. Oh no, there's one last Spartan. Oh yeah, this is where you guys like snuck. Into the no, it isn't when you're stuck into the map. Ah, uh, here's Gunslinger doing last man standing here. He's playing it smart. He decided to go the fragile route, but also the strong route. Like I said, if you know what you're doing, the humans can survive really well. And he's using, by far using one of the strongest weapons there are in the game right now, too. <laughs> Made available... Uh, using the Halo Magnum and the DMR. <laughs> Both are snipers. Light rifles up. So yeah, next video, guys, we'll get into... Uh, hit, uh, Warzone firefight. I kind of want Gunslinger to be there because he's kind of the opposite of me on my opinion So it'd be a great topic of discussion for that video while we do a match of firefight Which we kind of already went over but we can go ahead and discuss it again with you guys, so Ooh, back it out Getting ready to conclude the video And guess because you're wondering why we're so unorganized. It's just because we're actually recording on the go <laughs> Everything is live. I'd might as well be streaming, but 
I don't have good stream quality. So, if you guys want to know how to download this map, pretty simple. You just go to my gamer tag here. You can find me. Click on me. Simply go to my game modes and map virants and download the virant called Speed Demons. For the game type, you may want to tweak the settings to your liking if you want the zombies to be different or faster time time limit by default. Vehicles do not spawn and the time limit is 3. If you want that stuff on, say use this map, make sure vehicles are on and the, maybe the time limit's up to about 5 minutes because sometimes it does take a while if you don't know what you're doing at first because you got to get used to the different weapons. But other than that, that's all we got in this uh, I guess we'll call it Halo 5 Forge because it really was a basis about Forge. Yeah, actually. So, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video when we do the Halo Wars Firefight. And next time we'll work on getting better audio probably. And uh, uh, I'll probably use this mic for you guys instead of the other way around. But we'll, we'll, we'll work it out and stuff like that. And yeah. So this is Kogaji Mente, I, 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 and... And Gunslinger. Sorry, I was a little off on that. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Deciding <laughs> out. <laughs>